Seven tips on a successful launch. Did you know a Kickstarter or Indiegogo is kind of like an iceberg? How? You're probably looking at a successful campaign page and thinking, I can create a similar campaign with similar products, campaign page, and even rewards, so I should expect similar results. The problem is that just like an iceberg, what you're seeing is only the tip, only 30% or less of the total amount of work that has gone into making that campaign successful. Hi, my name is Abby and I'm from backerhelp.com and I'm going to share some tips on how to create a successful campaign. But first, make sure to subscribe to this page and click like on this video. Ready to find out what makes up the other 70% of a successful crowdfunding campaign? Number one, build a following before you launch the campaign. Our first tip is probably the most important one. Build your following before you launch your campaign. When you think of any successful Kickstarter, Indiegogo, even GoFundMe campaign, do you know what they all have in common? They all build a following of subscribers before they ever set their crowdfunding page to live. On average, backerhelp.com recommends that a campaign begins building up its following at least 90 days before the live launch of the campaign. When you decide you want to create a crowdfunding campaign, your goal should be to run pre-campaign promotion or marketing for a minimum of 90 days, giving you the opportunity to build a decent list of subscribers or followers who are genuinely interested in your product or service and who would potentially back your Kickstarter campaign when you launch. Throughout those 90 or more days that you run your pre-campaign marketing, your goal should be simple. Collect as many email addresses as possible of people who are genuinely interested in my product or service. The idea behind collecting the leads is that you can keep them updated with your pre-campaign progress, hinting at potential rewards for backers or call updates. This list will be considered cold leads when they sign up for updates and your goal is to warm them up with the updates and then strike when the metal is hot, converting cold leads to warm leads so that you can ensure a good number of initial pledges as soon as your campaign goes live. In the case that you're not able to create a landing page in time or feel you don't have the necessary skills, I recommend using the service backerhelp.com. Backerhelp.com will send your Kickstarter or Indiegogo campaign details in an email blast to its hundreds of thousands of members through its highly popular newsletter, getting your project out in front of the eyes of potential backers. Check out backerhelp.com for details. Number two, collecting your leads. Okay, so you're probably thinking, how am I supposed to build this list of email contacts or leads? Well, for this, you're going to need one of two things, ideally both. The first is a landing page. What is a landing page? It's just that. When a potential lead lands on your website, that first page they land on needs to capture their attention and offer enough information about your project that they would consider backing the project at the time of your campaign launch. We will go into more details about the specifics of a landing page in our next video. But for now, this is what you should know. Your landing page needs to act as a funnel, catching as much relevant traffic as possible and then converting the traffic into the leads we discussed earlier. Remember, your campaign will only be as successful as the interest it can garner from those leads, so make sure to design your page to be as effective as possible. A big header about your project, great pictures or videos, and a couple of form fields where you will collect emails for your newsletter or weekly email updates about your project. Side note, visit backerhelp.com and sign up for tips about creating an effective landing page. The second option is a coming soon page about your project on the crowdfunding platform you decide to use. The purpose of this page is to gain followers who will be notified as soon as your campaign is live. This page would be a great first place to send some of your leads so they can be sure to be notified. Number three. Okay, so you have a landing page, now you need traffic. How can you reach a large enough number of people and tell them about your landing page? You have a few options. The first option, Facebook ads, is usually the best, but it can get a bit pricey. The benefits to running a Facebook ad campaign are huge, however, as you can target an audience with specific interests in a specific geographical areas and zero in on your target audience with an effective advertisement or short video about your project. 
Once someone clicks on the ad, they will be directed to a landing page where you can try to capture as many email addresses as possible. Number four, free advertising. If Facebook ads or Google ads are a bit out of your budget, you can try your hand at a few free methods which can also generate targeted traffic to your landing page. Blog posts, guest posts on other people's blogs, posting in relevant Facebook groups, answering questions on Quora or Pinterest and posting your project on your Instagram page are all great ideas for increasing traffic to your landing page. I would caution against using traffic exchange programs on landing pages because the traffic generally isn't very targeted and won't convert. A great way to reach a large audience would be to look for crowdfunding promotion groups on Facebook. There are tons and you can even find ones that are more relevant to your project, for instance groups where members discuss board games or wearable tech, etc. The sky is the limit when it comes to free promotional tools, but remember to target audiences that are relevant to your project and can potentially convert into leads or even eventually backers. Number five, keep your audience engaged. So now that you've built up a subscriber list and followers, you can start by sending them newsletters or emails. In the emails, you want to give your audience regular updates about your product information, about rewards and keep them engaged with those 90 or so days before your launch, increasing frequency and updates to build excitement and momentum leading up to your Kickstarter campaign going live. Backerhelp.com recommends asking your subscribers questions, for instance, sending out surveys, asking what type of features they would like to see, or what they think about the rewards you plan to offer. Number six, set a realistic funding goal. Okay, so this is where a lot of people mess up. They build a following of potential backers through their newsletter or email campaigns, but when those leads land on the campaign page, they don't convert to backers. There are a few reasons for this, but it's usually one of two. The first problem campaign creators face is that they set an unrealistic funding goal. For instance, if you are launching a new comic book, you shouldn't be asking for $120,000 or something super high. This will only turn off backers who feel your project will never get funded and thus they wouldn't want to tie up their money on a losing bet. Backers want your project funding goals to be realistic because they want to get in at ground level and access your rewards which they will only get if you actually get funded. Bonus backerhelp.com tip. Did you know the crowdfunding platforms have algorithms that will internally promote projects that have the highest chance of being funded? This is because those platforms are all businesses and they don't get paid if you don't get paid. What this means is that you should be aiming to reach a minimum of 40% of your total funding within the first 48 to 72 hours after launching your project. A realistic funding goal will go a long way in ensuring your campaign actually gets funded. Backerhelp recommends to set your funding goals realistically and make sure to break down just why you require the amount you're asking for in your campaign. Before we tell you about the last tip, we want to remind you to visit backerhelp.com after this video and sign up for free tips on how to create your own landing page, generate traffic and launch a successful Kickstarter campaign. Number seven. This brings us to the second reason why some pages don't convert. The actual page content. The content on your campaign page should be comprised of four elements. A great explainer video, an easy to read copy, and photos. Lots of photos or images. The human being's attention span is getting shorter and shorter, and in order to capture the attention of a potential backer, you need to make sure that your campaign page clearly states the purpose of your project. Videos are a great way of explaining to backers what your product or service is, why it's great or innovative, and why they should back your project. The rest of the page should also do just that, so great copies goes a long way. If you aren't confident in writing the copy for the page, you can find tons of talented copywriters who will edit your words into something beautiful, and you can find them for great prices if you look around on Google a little bit. The third element your page should have is images. Images of your product, images of people using or building or touching your product are always great. You should also include graphs or infographics explaining to potential backers just how you broke down your funding goals to reach the number you settled at, and how you expect to spend the money. The fourth element of your page should be your rewards. Make sure that your rewards entice your audience, but keep them realistic. 
For instance, if someone is pledging $300, they're going to expect more than a thank you letter and a t-shirt. Here's another backerhelp.com bonus tip. If you aren't sure about the rewards to offer, funding goals, what pictures to use, or how to write your copy, you could just look at a similar project that was funded and see what they did and why it worked for them. Don't copy them, but rather gain inspiration so that your project remains unique. Lastly, don't forget to discuss stretch goals. For instance, prizes or rewards that will be unlocked if your project gets funded and at what funding levels each new reward is unlocked. I hope you guys liked this video and make sure to click subscribe and comment below.